Yo, what's shaking, Kevin Bacon? It's your boy Lego Jake back once again officially with a brand new Let's Play. This time around, we're going to be tackling Disneyland Adventures for Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC. And in case you don't know anything about this game, it's literally a virtual Disneyland simulator that is pretty hyper accurate to the actual park. It's awesome as hell, to be honest. And just in case you're curious, I'll be playing through this one on the 360 as to hopefully provide you guys with the same experience everyone else had when this game initially released back in 2011, the way the developers intended, which also means I'll be forced to play through this whole game only using the Xbox Kinect because controller functions didn't become available in Disneyland Adventures until the Xbox One version came out in late 2017. On the bright side though, unlike most Kinect games, this one actually tends to function pretty accurately most of the time, however because because it's still not perfect by any means, this will not be a 100% let's play. I'll still be trying to complete all the missions, we're still gonna meet all the characters and ride all the rides and still have a ton of fun. I'm just not going for all the collectibles, essentially. is a whole new world. Wanna go explore? Yeah, you know you do. Say, who are you anyways? I'm Lego Jake. So, boy or girl today, your pick. Kinda hover your hand over the button like this. Awesome! When you know who you wanna be, just reach out and hover over continue. Got it? Now, let's look at our small world of choices. Want to go right? Just swipe your right arm, like this. To go left, swipe with your left arm. Simple, right? Yes, very simple, except you don't always have to hover your hand over the continue button. There's a microphone icon next to it for a reason. You can just say the word continue or go back, so you don't constantly have to be putting your hand up and letting the thing load. You do, however, have to swipe left and right to choose all your options, but to be honest, I am a white guy with long hair and long brown hair in real life, so I was like, okay, that, that's fine, that works. I didn't feel like trying to customize the character very much. I did give him a little special outfit, though, because I did not like the clothes he was rocking, so we had to pick something that I would personally wear to Disneyland. I mean, we're going to be spending quite a few episodes in this game, so we got to definitely at least feel somewhat personal, am I right? And when I saw the purple t-shirt, I was automatically like, yeah, that's definitely something I would wear. Purple is my favorite color. I always rock a t-shirt and some cargo shorts or some jeans to the park, so that's what I was pretty much looking out for. And yeah, that's a pretty accurate outfit to what I would wear in person. That's pretty cool. Let's head in to Disneyland, baby. So, where to first? Ooh, you wanna go- Whoa! Oh, oh! Hey! It's like somebody's trying to take us someplace! Whoa! Mickey Mouse! I wonder if he's got some adventures for us. Come on, let's meet Mickey! Just wave, like this. Hey there, pal! I'm Mickey Mouse! It's great to meet ya! Gosh, pal, I was hoping to get some of my friend's autographs today, but I've been so busy with the Toontown mayor election that I haven't had the chance. Say, do you think you could ask Donald to sign this book for me? I'd sure appreciate it. Wow, you're doing great! Let's find Donald. Don't forget, wave bye to Mickey! Sometimes the Kinect sensor has a really weird time picking up when you're waving, so you'll just kind of awkwardly stand here <laughs> and like move your hands around. So, uh, goodbye, Mickey. Thanks for 
for getting Donald's autograph for me. See, this is how we talk around here. By waving. Wave hello. Wave goodbye. Hey, I better show you how to get around. Say, you're in luck. Anything this shiny's gotta be good. After all, look at me. To walk forward, act like you got no strings. Raise your arm up like this. Now you're getting it. What talent. To stop and look around, just scoot your hand all the way left or all the way right and be amazed. You really know what you're doing. It's Hey, I think I know where to find Donald. Just keep up with me. Just follow the adventure trail. I colored it to make it easy, see? So good news is the tutorial is pretty much over and we don't need to watch any more cutscenes involving that annoying face map character. Bad news is he still will pop up every here and there. By the way, these posters are so awesome. To see them animated in-game is like so surreal. It's awesome. <laughs> But I was going to say, on the bad side of things, that map character does pop up every here and there. Whenever you get, like, a new skill, per se, I'm not going to spoil too much. Whenever something significant happens, he'll still pop up and give you tips and stuff. And uh, his voice is so irritating. It sounds like the awesome Disney Toys guy. I'm pretty sure it is. Like, it sounds identical to him. But, uh, what's up, Donald? How you doing, bud? Good to meet you. Oh boy! And the autograph book from Mickey. And the autograph from me? Oh. Thanks for asking. Here you go. I'm going to be way around to Donald. Thanks for Donald. Hmm. Why don't take this book to Mickey? We definitely will go take the book back to Mickey after we've hung out with Donald for a little bit. <laughs> and it's actually good timing too, because I should mention these little missions given to you by the characters around the park is sort of the core gameplay on the actual park grounds. Whether it's little collectible missions, photo opportunities, or even just little small fetch quests like this, they all somehow end up being fun just because of the setting, and they kind of force you to explore the entirety of Disneyland while also forcing you to meet each character as well assuming you would want to complete the entire game. And like I said, that's just the gameplay while running through the streets. The rides represented by some of the most enjoyable mini-games of all time are the true meat and potatoes of this game, and we'll obviously be getting to each and every one of those in due time. Matter of fact, there's a lot of things we'll be doing in due time, because this is just a massive game. To go back to what I was saying at the beginning, this is not going to be a 100% Let's Play. There's like hundreds of collectibles by themselves. Whoa! You got Donald's autograph! Thanks, pal! But actually, this autograph book's not for me. It's for Goofy. He's been wanting an autograph collection, and I thought it might be nice to help him get started. Do you think you could bring the book to him? I mean, yeah, we can certainly give Goofy the autograph book, that's no problem, but you'd think for some guy that's been working with his friends since 1932 that he'd at least have their signature somewhere, or be able to probably go and ask them pretty simply, I, I don't know. Whatever, though, to finish up what I was saying before the cutscene, there are, yes, hundreds of collectibles in this game, and as much as it is fun to complete it fully, it is definitely hard on the Kinect, and maybe if we ever decide to revisit this game on the Xbox One or PC, then that's when we'll go for just 100% secrets and stuff, because it's not so straining to sit there and stand and, you know, hold your arm out, because the way you walk in this game, you actually have to hold your arm out straight, and, uh, the, you know, Disneyland Park is pretty big, so that is quite a bit of running. And I should mention, uh, because I just said the words Disneyland Park kind of got it in my head, this game does strictly focus on Disneyland Park. Don't expect to uh, travel over to Disney California Adventure at any point, and because this game's from 2011, don't expect to see Star Wars Galaxy's Edge either. Matter of fact, forget about Star Wars entirely because this game came out before Disney owned the brand. Howdy, sport! I'm Goofy! I don't believe we've met before! <laughs> Wowee! Donald signed that for me! Gorge, thanks! 
No problem at all, Goofy. Let's dance around and have some fun to celebrate the occasion. What do you think about Star Wars not being in this game, Goofy? I'd like to know. Not even Star Tours, man. That's all covered up. It's literally just a blank building in this game. <laughs> fun fact, while we're on the topic of Lucasfilms, the Indiana Jones ride is also covered up in this game, too. Yep. It eventually earned its outdoor signage when the game was remastered, but here in the 360 version, yeah, we don't have that either. <laughs> there are other omitted franchises and stuff later on as well, but again, we will get to those when the time comes. I don't want to blow all my facts in the first episode, now would I? Honestly, though, I do have a ton of Disney facts, so I'm not sure I ever could run out. <laughs> now, I'm not a California native, so I'm not as familiar with Disneyland as I am with Walt Disney World, considering I do live in Florida. But I assure you, at either park, I could show you some of the coolest little Easter eggs you can imagine, and I could talk your ear off about just about anything and everything for hours. <laughs> Disney parks, or really theme parks in general, are my legitimate happy place. Universal, Legoland, hmm? SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, Bay. Maybe they are all so fun, I wish I was there right now. To be honest, that's why I wanted to start this Let's Play in general. It's the perfect way to escape to one of these incredible places without even having to leave the comfort of your bedroom. And that really is the best perk about playing the Kinect version. It's truly being able to feel immersed and invested in the world of Disneyland. Like, it's a legitimately impressive game, and the fact that this is a Kinect title really does blow me away, comparatively to, like, Connect Adventures? Come on, man, this is insane. I've got a present for you. It's your own magical camera. If you'd like, you can practice taking a picture of me. <laughs> Here, I'll pose and you can take my picture, okay? Alrighty, Mickey, let's do it. To actually activate the camera or any of the other little abilities you unlock throughout the game, you have to lift up your right or left arm, and it'll bring up a menu that you just go ahead and select it very easily, and then it's usually as simple as just flicking your wrist or holding it out right in front of you for the camera. You just hold it out for about three seconds, and it'll enter your camera mode, and you can take pictures with or of objects and characters. Very cool, very fun, and you yeah, actually get to pose and look very cool. <laughs> and all pictures do save, so in case you want to see them later, they will be there. You've got it! <laughs> You'll be a pro with that camera in no time! I sure hope I'll be a camera pro, Mickey. Honestly, some of my favorite moments in this game are taking pictures of random characters around the park. Again, it really goes back to the whole immersion thing where this game just feels like a legitimate day at Disneyland. It is so much fun, I can't even explain. <laughs> Say, pal! Could you help me out again? I'm making a photo album for Minnie, but I still need pictures of Goofy and Donald. Would you mind finding Goofy and taking his picture for me? <laughs> Thanks! I'll get Goofy's picture if you can give me your autograph. Thank you very much. And by the way, yes, I didn't even explain what you do when you interact with the characters. You can hold your arms out in a circle and hug the characters. You can shove your hand out towards the connect and give them a high five. You can put both your hands in front of you and get their autograph. Or lastly, you can bow down. <laughs> it sounds kind of weird, but yes, you bow down in front of them. And you do a big old dance with them. And each character has different interactions, and they are all so cute and hilarious and funny, and it honestly, again, just goes back to the whole immersion thing. It feels like you're meeting the characters, just like you do in the park, except they're animated like they're actual characters. It's, it's just as fun. I, I absolutely love this game. <laughs> As I've mentioned, it's not perfect, but during these times when we're all stuck at home, having an escape like this to my literal happy place is so freaking cool, it is unreal. What's up, Goofy? How you doing? Let's get your picture. And while we're taking Goofy's picture, I should mention to take every photo of every character in the game, you have to go to different shops and actually buy different photo albums. But don't worry, as we saw in the beginning, you run past different piles of money on the ground and gain a ton. You get rich quick. Donald lost his hat on the Matterhorn, and he won't take any photos without his lucky hat. If you want his picture, you're gonna have to find it pronto. Good luck, pal, cause no one's better at finding stuff than you. Snow one. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, that was very funny, Goofy, and frankly, I can't blame Donald for not wanting to get his picture taken without his hat on. Everybody knows Donald's blue hat. It's a staple of his character. It just wouldn't be right to take his photo without it. And also, as you can see, if you put your arms, both of them, straight up in the air, you can view your very awesome Disneyland map, which also, if you buy this game physically, which 
I don't know if you can actually download it on the store, I'm just assuming. But if you get the game physically, it actually comes with this map uh, in person, so you can actually hold it and guide yourself around the park while you're standing here essentially virtually in the park how awesome is that you're literally guiding yourself with a tour map in your room at Disneyland Disneyland Adventures needs more praise why is this game not talked about more I swear to god it is amazing <laughs> I mean the graphics are enjoyable the background noise of the rides and the park guests is just so immersive it's unreal and the ride mini games are just an absolute blast and I just can't wait to take on our first one over here at the Matterhorn which is just a wonderful ride in person I know a lot of people say it's too rickety and painful but honestly it's an absolute Walt classic and I personally adore it I don't care what anyone else thinks about it it's awesome just like this game <laughs> and by the way hi hi Sleeping Beauty Castle you're very cool over there I wish we can go visit you but we will again in due time my friends this is going to be one long LP one long but fun LP I hope we are all excited for it I have been like waiting to do this one I've been practicing my connect skills getting ready for it and uh, I'm very glad that we're finally sharing this together by the way he's screaming at me to say Xbox so you can open up your dashboard quicker but uh I, I don't really want to quit the game right now so I'm not gonna do that yeah so I appreciate your golden ticket guy but honestly we don't really need your help all we need is your golden trail to show us really where to go and honestly we don't even hardly need that because it's an exact layout of Disneyland I sort of already know where I'm going and there's a map in game and in person so I kind of should be able to figure it out on my own Regardless, though, we have made it to the entrance of the Matterhorn bobsleds, and we will be entering there in the next episode. I hope you're all very excited for that. We will take on the fearsome Yeti, not the one from Expedition Everest, as awesome as that would be. Yo, guys, make Walt Disney World adventures. Please, I'm begging you. Just saying. But <laughs> anyway, I will see everyone in part two of our Disneyland Adventures Let's Play soon enough. I will see you all then. Have a great rest of your day, dudes. Peace out.